You know the saying, it's not what you know, but who you know? Well, it's true because I'm sitting in a 2022 Ford Maverick Hybrid. That's right, the unicorn of all unicorns. I have been looking for one of these things for I don't know how long. They're almost impossible to find. They are so popular that Ford quit taking orders from them. So if you find one, you better grab it because these things are popular. Now this was one that was ordered that a customer ended up not taking a delivery on and Janet's uncle works for a Ford dealership and he called me yesterday and said, I found what you've been looking for. So if you want it, you better tell me now. Otherwise, I got about 10 people on a wait list. Every salesman is uh, is absolutely going insane calling their customers that there is a Ford Maverick Hybrid on the lot. Well, guess what? I got it. I am sitting in it. And so I'm going to tell you what, this thing is fantastic. Now, if you're wondering why I've been wanting one so bad, because if you saw my video not too terribly long ago about what I think is the absolute best tow vehicle for a leisure travel van or any Sprinter-based Class C RV, this is it. It ticks all of the boxes with weight, with utility, with the luxuries in this thing uh, for the price, absolutely immaculate absolutely love it. it it's got adaptive cruise control it's got a bang and olufsen sound system it's got everything that i wanted whenever i had my wish list if i were going to order one including the color uh, it is a deep blue which is the same color as our leisure travel van so i'm super excited about that um, the only thing that I, it has that i didn't want was this sunroof why don't i want the sunroof because it does add a bit of weight to it so we're gonna go upstairs here in just a few minutes and I'm going to go over all of the weights, what this particular one weighs, cause it is a Lariat, basically has every option that you can get on it. And so it does weigh more than that base weight of about 3,600 pounds and some change. So we'll get into all of that, but it is still way under what I consider safe for a leisure travel van. Now then, I'm gonna take you on a little tour of it. Let's take a look at the inside, take a look at the outside, a few of the little quirks that this thing has. I am really impressed with this thing, by the way. And if you can find one, just get it. And I'm gonna tell you something, uh, there are no discounts on these bad boys. In fact, you're probably gonna pay over MSRP. Again, it's not what you know, it's who you know, whether that happens or not, right? So anyway, uh, let's go over all of the details of this thing and then we'll get into the weights. Uh, we'll jump on e-trailer and take a look if they've got the base plates and everything available for these because I want to get it set up to tow for this summer. I'm so excited. This is going to be so much fun RVing with. Okay, so with it being a hybrid, there's no tachometer, only a power indicator. And so in the green, if it's in the green while you're driving, it's running on battery. And if it's in the white, that means it's using its uh, four cylinder engine. Now then, of course, this being the Lariat, it does have that larger screen in the middle. I believe the base model doesn't have that larger screen. And it's got just about every luxury that you expect in a, a modern vehicle. For instance, right here, you've got a really nice screen with Sync 3. It's not Sync 4 that my Ford F350 uh, uh, 2022 model has that is uh, offers wireless CarPlay, which is amazing. For this to be um, CarPlay, it still has to be plugged in down there into one of the USB ports. But as you can see, this model it has heated seats, it's got a heated steering wheel, it's got dual climate, and again, uh, probably the Lariat package is uh, going to have all of that. Uh, now, what I like about this as well, it does have, and I've already tried it out and it works fantastic it has adaptive cruise control this actually has lane keep assist kind of like a tesla it will keep you in between the lanes and kind of drive itself but it does want you to keep your hands on the wheel very impressed for this price range that it has so many of these great features now here's another great thing i like about it they went really really um out of the box when it comes to the design and so as you can see this has a really cool like ge geometrical graphic uh, this is really different and it's blue it's a really nice shade of blue and more of the geometric right here and then as you can see it follows through right there but just a really different design and yes it is blue and that is kind of a bluish gray really nice colors um, with a more of a copper uh, based seats really nice 
But these are not leather. This is a fake leather, I think. It doesn't feel like leather, and it doesn't look like leather. But I'll look and make sure, and before I tell you, wireless charging, some really good cargo spots. Here you've got all of your, your, um, your, your shifting knob, a couple of cup holders, and then again, a nice back seat, a power sliding glass that is with the lariat package as well and then of course the thing that i did not want which is the sunroof just because it adds weight i mean it's not that i'm against sunroof but anyway so as you can see there's not a ton of room back there so this seat is all the way back but as you can see as you can see there's not a ton of room back there but there is a ton of room as far as cargo putting the dogs back there that's all we need it for now then this also has the bang and olufsen um uh, bang and olufsen sound system which sounds great this is in the 22 f350 i have as well and that sound system sounds great it's got several speakers now then again that's on that uh, lariat i think it's called the luxury package and again, this has just about every option on it. But you can get these much cheaper without all of those on it. But let's go outside and take a look and see what it looks like. All right, here you go. It's got the Lariat badging on it. It's got some really nice wheels that come with this package as well. And then as you come around, those are the LED uh, that looks like they're blinking right now in the video. But they're not blinking in real life. Um, but as you can see, here is the module. This is how you can tell if there's adaptive cruise control because it has that, that right there, that little adapter right there. If not, it would just be more of this. Then if you come around here, this one also um, has keyless entry like most Fords do. They've been doing that for a long time, but it also has touch right there. If you've got the key with you, that will unlock. And then this one came with the soft cover on it. I, that's another thing. I probably would have done the hard cover uh this is because you really you know you can set something light on top of there but with the hardcover you could set a you know a heavy box or something and 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 hold it there while you're doing like whenever you're opening this up and so as you can see it came with the uh, bed liner already in there and then the way you open this up you just pull that there you pull that there and then you just fold this up and then those will fall in like so and then you can just continue folding right there. And then these straps, if you're going to drive with it, then you'd want to hook those up there. But as you can see, I mean, it's a small bed, but it's a bed. And that's why I wanted the Ford Maverick for a tow vehicle, because you could, you could store solo stoves back here. You could do your, your grills, everything that kind of smells that you wouldn't want in, you know, inside with you. So with the Leisure Travel Van, you cannot store a solo stove anywhere. I mean, it's way too small, the outside storage. So this is gonna be perfect for that. What I also like about this, again, I think it's with the Lariat package you have to do that, but here is a 400 uh, watt max outside uh, plug. How about that? So it's got a 400 watt inverter on there. And then you got some storage here. And then this is pretty cool too. You can slide these around, which every truck should do that. That's fantastic, not just these, but it's got tie downs over there. Uh, it's got the spray and bed liner, which I love. That is really light as well to pick up. It doesn't have any assist. It doesn't need it. It's light enough to do that. But as you can see, we got the uh, dark blue. I forgot what it's called. I'll tell you once we get up at the office and uh, go over the weights and everything. But it's a really pretty of blue. And so this is the exact color I would have chose just because our Leisure Travel Van is denim with that dark blue stripe with the silver uh, base color. But as you can see, this is a really nice looking truck. Very, very, very impressed. But let's go up to the office. I'll get into the weights. We'll kind of go over to eTrailer.com, see if they've got everything you need to flat tow it and see how much that's going to cost us. But anyway, super impressed with this Ford Maverick. Okay, let's get into the nitty gritty of what this thing weighs. Unfortunately, there is not really a way to, um, to, to just see on paper what this weighs. You gotta do some math, so we'll jump into that. Now, 
Keep in mind, this Lariat package, and again, this was the only one available. Um, I had this, if I wanted this particular one, this is what it came with, and it came with all of the heavy stuff. And so I do figure it is heavier than the base weight of what the website weighs. So keep that in mind. Anytime you're looking for a tow vehicle, that whatever weight it says on the website, that is going to be a base weight. That is, if you add one option, your weight goes up. So always keep that in mind. So let's get into the math and let's see what this Ford Maverick actually weighs. All right, Ford doesn't make it super easy to be able to find your curb weight of your particular vehicle. However, just with some simple math, we'll be able to find it out. So I've got my handy field notes here where I've made some notes. And so we'll find out exactly what this particular Ford Maverick weighs. Now then, so I found a PDF where it had all of the weights as far as the base weight. So what we're wanting to do is we're wanting to find the gross vehicle weight rating meaning how much does uh, this Ford Maverick, how much can it weigh max? That is with the vehicle as well as with stuff in it. And so the easiest way to do that. So I found this on the Ford website, which says it has a uh, base weight of 3,674 pounds. Now, again, that is going to be a base base weight, meaning no options at all, no sunroofs, no leather, no, none of none of those other electronics in there, right? So always keep that in mind. When you're looking at a weight of a vehicle on a website, remember, they're only going to put the base weight. That's not going to be with options. So always keep that in mind. So anyway, so then when we look at now how much ca uh, carrying capacity do does Ford allow for this? And it is 1,500 pounds, right? So with the base vehicle, you can add 1,500 pounds to that. Now then, again, this isn't the base vehicle. There are options, so our base our base weight is more. So then if we just subtract, or I'm sorry, if we just add 1,500 pounds to that 3,674, we come up with the gross vehicle weight rating, which is 5,174 pounds. Now then, we're going to jump over to the door sticker on our particular model. And we're gonna find the OCCC, Occupant and Cargo Carrying Capacity. And if you look on there, ours is 1,389 pounds. So a little bit less than that 1,500 pounds that Ford says that we can carry, right? So if we just take that, we subtract that from the 5174, it gives us a a curb weight of 3,785 pounds, which is kind of serendipitous. Only 111 pounds or so more than the base weight. I thought it was going to be more. So guess what that means? That with my, I say that you cannot pull anything more than 4,200 pounds behind my particular leisure travel van with all of its gross vehicle weight rating issues and things like that. And so when you look at that, I have 400 pounds that I could carry in that Maverick being fully full in my leisure travel van at the, its max weight. And then I can put another 400 pounds in the Maverick to take along with me. Not that we would ever do that. I'm a minimalist. I don't want to take that stuff. But I do want to take some stuff that some of it's heavy, like an electric bike is usually 70, 80 pounds. I want to take a solo stove and different things like that. But no way is that going to add up to 400 pounds. So I am super, super happy with the weight of this particular Ford Maverick. I was a little scared whenever it was fully loaded, thinking it could be closer to 4,000 pounds, which I definitely did not want it to be. So I am super happy. Now then, let's jump over to e-trailer and see if, uh, if everything is available for towing, uh, flat towing a Maverick, uh, and how much is that gonna cost? Okay, here we are on e-trailer, and yes, all of this stuff is available for the Maverick. You can get either a Blue Ox, or you can get the Roadmaster. Now, I'd probably choose the Roadmaster, even though it's a little bit 
cheaper. Um, I'm not sure if you get what you pay for in that scenario. However, with the Roadmaster, because the one that they recommend, uh, the tow bar they recommend for the Maverick is a Roadmaster. So I think the two brands probably link up uh, the best, right? I would assume so. I may be projecting here. If I'm wrong, put that in the comments down below. And then of course the Invisibrake, you have to have a supplemental braking system. And so the Invisibrake does work with the, uh, the Maverick. Now then, if you are familiar with the Invisibrake or any of these products, I would love to know, put your comments down below. Are you using these? Am I going the right direction? I mean, kind of the only direction I can go as far as what e-trailer is saying I can use with the Maverick, but I would love to know that. So there are a few other things. You gotta buy some wiring harnesses and maybe a few clips and things like that. But otherwise, plus the install, I'm not gonna do it myself. I can't imagine that. That thing would be rolling down the road by itself if I did it. But anyway, so the install I'm sure is going to be pretty pricey. And so that is the prices of all of these items, uh, but it can be done. So I do plan on getting this done before summer. Um, we have several trips planned. I am really excited. Plus we have a whole nother RV coming, a whole nother RV coming to pull with that pull behind my F-350, right? And I'll get into the details of what that is, right? So we're gonna be dual RV people, two different ways, a, a, a towable as well as the motor home. So excited about all of the adventures. 2022, it's all about the travel, right? So anyway, that's it for this week. Thanks for sticking with us to the end here. Again, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Hit that bell notification and that thumbs up. But with that being said, I will let you go now because this has been a long video. Anyway, we'll see you next time.